everybody and welcome back. I am the Sovereign and this is my court. If this is your first time in attendance, hello. Please consider hitting the subscribe button before you leave our kingdom. My neighbors are starting with me today, okay? We got Harley boys across the street and I'm trying not to go stunt on them with my 650, but if they keep playing, I'ma come outside and have words. Stop it. Anyways, we're here to talk about pageants and there is a specific video that is highly requested amongst the court. But before I can get to that video, I feel it's necessary to talk about this first before we discuss that so we understand all the nuance therein. So today we are discussing the difference between the Trump era versus IMG. If you are new to pageants, let me explain exactly what I mean here. There are different eras within pageant history that denote different standards that the queens are held to. So besides the different decades, right? The 80s, and 90s, the early 2000s, there's different eras that different people or organizations were in power. And if you didn't know, Donald Trump was the owner of the Miss Universe pageant from 1996 to 2015. Yeah, if you didn't know, that's that's a story. It's It has a lot of stuff happen during it. I don't wanna talk about that. Right now, we're just gonna discuss the different standards of the different eras because it's important to understand. So the Trump era reigned from 96 to 2015, gave us queens such as Paulina Vega and Olivia Culpo. The Trump era standards were starkly different than the standards we have today, which has given rise to different powerhouses than those that were in power during the Trump era. While the swimwear performances have largely remained the same with the sexiness and sassiness persisting through both organizations and time periods, the starkest differences can be perceived through the evening gown competition. The standards of the Trump era were very poised, very graceful, very airbrushed. Trump and the Trump organization preferred to have a woman that was extremely well put together, not a hair out of place, perfect makeup, but besides the looks, which was something Donald Trump stressed heavily during his time in power, besides just the physical features, the performance aspect was very different as well. The performances that you get from a Trump era queen was very polished, very put together. Those performances could be described as smooth, poised, graceful, regal, and very precise. The queens very much gave a classic beauty queen feel, whereas they're holding a stagnant smile pretty much throughout their performance. During the Trump era, we don't get as many expressions as we do today. We don't get as much fierceness as we do today. These queens could be described as like early Disney princess, Snow White, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty. Very youthful, very graceful, very young, very bubbly, very happy. And this is why during the Trump era, you see certain countries such as Colombia and Venezuela, and even some European countries doing very well in the pageant. As I have said in previous videos, the South Americans tend to be engineers when it comes to their precision in performances. They are, all of their turns are very precise. They are very sharp and perfect. And of course their queens have always been very beautiful. And this is one of the reason why we've seen them do so well during the Trump era. Their precise movements along with their beauty, elegance and poise gave them many, 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 many crowns but IMG is the current organization that owns the Miss Universe pageant now. And there are some differences and there are some different powerhouses that are persisting through our modern times. In the IMG era, we see a surge of artistry coming into the performances. Everything's not required to be so practiced, so perfect, so rehearsed. We're seeing a bit of individuality come through and a lot more strength coming from the queens. We're starting to get a lot more fierceness. We're starting to get the smizes, the turns, a little bit of attitude. IMG allows and brought in a bit more spice. So whereas Trump would be described as very much a Sleeping Beauty Cinderella era, IMG came through with the Pocahontas and the Elsa. We're seeing flair, we're seeing laughs, we're seeing funs, we're seeing edginess and sexiness. We're seeing a lot of different types of behaviors. Now why? Why would there be such a stark shift in beauty standards and what these different organizations are looking for. I've thought about this a lot and I've discussed it with some of you in the Discord, but I've come to the conclusion that Trump era 
is basically what a man thinks a perfect woman is. MGI era is basically what a woman thinks is the perfect woman. Look, let's be honest about this. Trump is kind of known for a bit of his misogynistic behaviors. He had a very strong idea of what the perfect woman was, whether it be physically or behaviorally, he had a very strong input into what he thought his winners should be. And if those queens did not conform, sometimes he had some things to say about it publicly. But because Donald Trump kind of sees himself as like an alpha male, he's not going to want a woman who's overly extroverted. He's not gonna want a woman that's seemingly very strong. In his mind, what the perfect woman is, is a woman that's willing to serve a man, a woman that's willing to be kind of arm candy to her man and almost a bit of a showpiece. Donald Trump likes the classic sense or classic version of what a man thinks a woman should be. Very beautiful, very soft, very poised, kind of docile, eye-catching. That's the type of woman that Donald Trump treasured. He didn't really want a woman that was going to be so outspoken. She was kind of a figure to be admired or a version of what men would describe as like the potential to be the perfect wife, right? She's not too flirty, she's not too fun, she's not too out there. She's sweet, she's soft, she's gentle, she's beautiful. No controversy, nothing to be found. Perfect, pristine looking woman. IMG opened the floodgates for individuality. Now we're seeing queens really be true to who they are. They're allowed a bit more freedom to showcase their own personality and to be a bit more sensual if they so choose to. MGI has the flexibility to allow women to be whatever they want and still have the ability to win the crown. You can be a very sensual queen and, and win the crown, but at the same time, you can still be conservative, bubbly, soft, gentle, and still win the crown. What IMG seems to treasure the most is a woman who's unapologetically herself, is intelligent, outspoken, and willing to reign and be a role model in whatever way that she chooses best fits herself. Trump era, I think the queens were more forced to conform to his beauty standard, whilst MGI allows you to bring your own beauty standard and showcase who you are. And this is why we have seen different powerhouses change positions throughout the years. Venezuela, Colombia, those still considered powerhouses are up against countries such as Thailand and the Philippines now because of the shift in beauty standards. It seems that some South American countries are still struggling because they're still performing in the ways of the Trump era. Their performances are still very perfect, practiced and rehearsed. There's not a lot of individuality and artistry coming from their performances. Meanwhile, countries such as Philippines, Thailand and Vietnam, even Indonesia are bringing women who are very unique. These women are delivering performances that are specific to themselves and they're not following a cookie cutter pattern that we had in previous generations. MGI is seemingly also putting a heavy emphasis on women's ability to be outspoken or to be able to speak about important social issues, which is not really something that we saw in the Trump era. And it seems like even some fans are struggling with the shift. We didn't see so much social policy happening in the Trump era that we do see in MGI. And it's forcing the women to kind of get out of their comfort zone and be pushed a bit more. Now, personally, I like this era better. This is the era where like, this is, this is where I am home. Honestly, I think 2015, it was 2015. 2015 was when I truly got into pageants. Um, I was aware of pageants previously, you know, in the earlier generations, even though I was a child, I was aware, but I wasn't, I wasn't as interested in them in the Trump era because it almost seemed boring to me. It almost did seem kind of cookie cutter. It almost seemed like the girls were too airbrushed and they're putting on this perfect little princess performance and it wasn't really something that I was interested in. I want to see who these women are. I want to see them, you know, showcase themselves and their own personality and their own styles. So I personally, as a fan, became way more interested in pageants when IMG took over. However, there is one thing from the Trump era that I would advocate for bringing back. No matter how you may feel about the man himself, you cannot dispute that the Trump era production quality was magnificent. I love the dramatics. I love the theatrics, the staging, the lighting, the everything, the drama, all of that. Please bring it back. I just realized I might've been saying MGI instead of IMG. If I'm saying that throughout this video, my apologies. That's my mistake because I'm getting the, all the, the letters. I'm getting the letters mixed up. I should have just called it MUO, but I'm talking about the organizations that owned MUO. Very, look, 
it's a very tricky thing, but it's IMG, not MGI. MGI is Miss Grand International. IMG is the organization that owns Miss Universe. Huh. Anyways, this is just my brief take on the differences between the different eras that have owned the Miss Universe organization and what that means for the contestants. In the comments section below, let me know what you think, which was your favorite era? Are you more of a Trump era person or are you more of an IMG era person? Doesn't really matter. It's just kind of like, do you like Cinderella or are you more of an Elsa girl? I love all the princesses, it doesn't matter, but I do tend to go more towards the IMG air because that's just my personality. But let me know which your favorite is and who's your favorite queen from different eras. <gasps> Interesting. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. And if you are not a member of my court, please consider hitting the subscribe button. I would love to see you again. I love you, I'll miss you, and you know I will be back in a future video. Bye.